hello welcome back again to nx tutorial now in this tutorial i would like to show you how to make a motion simulation so right here i have an assembly i consider this a uh, as the engine block we have the crank one the piston and the rod okay nx motion the location is in here application and motion so when you click if it starts in a new environment in here you can see we have an assembly rotating assembly also now in here we, we have nothing so it means that we have create new simulation you can right click create new simulation in here you choose a dynamics okay and then you click ok now after the motion the next thing you should do is to create link so in here I will create link the first link is the object the object in here uh, you choose automatic because if you choose user a divine you must input all these numbers you choose automatic click OK now in here we have link link number one we will create number two link we click this part click ok number two link now in here we add also this number three link this is number four link right now we have four link okay now after i have four link i want to create the joint okay the joint so many joint in here the first thing I, I will do is I have to get the fixed joint this is the fixed joint you can also fix the link you can see in here so there are two two types when you want to create a fixed joint and the second I, I want to create a slider joint slider joint between this uh, part with this part so in here maybe I would say this link link number one and link number two first I select the action link okay the slider in here I choose the base link is the fixed one specify origin the origin I took the center of this circle specify orientation I will choose the perpendicular surface and then I click OK now in here I have a slider joint and a fixed joint the next thing I will do I create another joint it's called level joint so this joint will allow a revolution for relative from one link to another uh, the level joint will be located in here so the action link click the action link and then click the base link uh, specify origin I can put it in the center of the circle I click the perpendicular at the direction direction in here so I click OK let's see this is the joint and then after that I click another to create the full joint the action link and the base link specify origin I'm going to find looking for the center of the circle specify the factor I'm looking for perpendicular of this click OK so now we have the full joint in here and next I also create the full joint but the full joint is not relative to another so it's relative to the world to the environment of this simulation by doing click this specify origin I want to looking for the center of this circle specify factor perpendicular but I'm not click this one so I want to make it relative to the world to the environment of this simulation and so you I can see okay. the difference between the symbol in here and here 
uh, even though it's it its name is same as level join but you can see there are difference in the symbol so in here the symbol means that it's a relative movement between la one link to another meanwhile in here a relative movement between this link to the world to the environment so next we will add and I click edit we add the driver in here I have polynomial it request initial defacement velocity and acceleration uh, we have harmonic function and articulation so in here I'm just going to use poly polynomial I type 1060 initial velocity I'm sorry 60 degrees per second and I click OK now you can see they are slightly changed in this a symbol you can see there's a little arrow it means that this join has a driver inside it and then I go to solution you choose normal run kinematic dynamics the time maybe you select two seconds the steps is how many steps will be uh, calculated in this two seconds so it means that if I type maybe one one thousand the each step is two seconds uh, divided one thousand uh, zero point zero zero two seconds for each step but it takes too long I want it using 250 and then you can choose solve it okay or not perhaps now I will not check this one the gravity a direction is going to the negative Z a direction initial step size okay I click OK and then it appear a solution and then to solve it I click solve now you can see inf information window sometimes appear it said 303 redundant constraint are detected but it will be removed automatically but the result may not be as expected so we go into animation to see the animation and make sure the delay is zero so you can see that animation now okay you can uh, cycle the animation so it means when it finish it will cycle again from the beginning or going to retrace now this is the cycle uh, when I click retrace so it will back on the reverse uh, direction okay click close now let's uh, investigate what is this for if I choose one one thousand click solve animation now you can see the animation is a little bit slower from the previous animation it because uh, the steps 1000 step for two seconds it means it have to show every step but you can see here we can also choose step and time so you can see from zero second to two seconds or the steps from one steps to 1000 steps so if you want to check the detail movement in I mean in a slow motion you must increase this number but if you want to see just only how it moves just using a small step you can see in here it's very fast okay uh, that's it the basic simulation uh, please watch my next video I will explain to you a lot of uh, how to create a motion simulation thank you